Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Destiny World Unlimited and today we are going to the Link High Roller here in Las Vegas. We supposed to go to the Link Zip Line but since there's a win advisory today so we're gonna go to Link High Roller. The Link Self Parking is located at 161 Kruger Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada 89108. This is different from the Link Hotel. It's usually the parking lot at the back of the Link High Roller. You can buy your tickets online. You can use the Groupon.com for more um, deals. And you can also use the Pegas.com. And you can also uh, use the Ticketmaster.com. For this ticket, we got it from Vegas.com because it's the only um, website that has an available time um, during uh, the day that we're planning to go to High Roller. It's gonna be much easier if you already have a ticket you bought online. You're just gonna show it through your phone and then um, there's a metal detector going up and the second floor is where you get a drinks and um, you can bring the drinks in the high roller. They also have a um, happy hour uh, at night. For today, um, we got the $19 per person. Um, before, we got a deal at Groupon. It's, uh, it's like a $30 with a meal at the Gordon Ramsay uh, fish, and fish and chips at the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. It's um, included on the Groupon, but now they don't have a deal and they only have the $19. Also have a happy hour and it's priced $60 per person. It's available from 4 p.m. to 12 p.m. Monday to Thursday. The link is located at 3545 South Las Vegas Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89101. High Roller is a 550 foot tall or 167.6 meters and a 520 foot or 158.5 meters in diameter. The giant first wheel is on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada, United States of America, owned and operated by the by the Caesars Entertainment. It opens to the public on March 31, 2014, and is currently the world's tallest first wheel. It is 9 feet 2.7 meters taller than its predecessor, the 541 foot Singapore Flyer, which has held the record since. 2018. High Roller was announced in August 21 as the centerpiece of Caesar Entertainment Corporation. It's a 550 million. The Link, a rope engineering which previously consulted on the Singapore Flyer and acted as the structural engineer. The wheel rotates on a pair of custom designed spherical roller bearings, bearing weighing approximately 19,400 pounds or 8,800 kilograms. Each bearing has an outer diameter of 7.55 feet or 2.30 meters. An inner bore of 5.25 feet. And a width of 2.07 feet or 0.63 meters. The outer rim comprises 28 sections and each 56 feet or 17 meters long which were temporarily held in place during construction by a, by a pair of 2.75 foot radial struts prior to being permanently secured by four cables. The passenger cabins or capsules are mounted on the wheel outboard rim and are individually rotated by electric motors to smoothly maintain a horizontal cabin floor throughout each full rotation. Preliminary designs anticipated 32 passengers' cabins, each with a 40 passengers' capacity. With the final, with the final design accommodating 28 to 40 persons' cabin and a total capacity of 1,120 passengers. Each 225 square foot or 20.9 meters squared cabin weights approximately 44,000 pounds or 20,000 20, kilograms and has a diameter of 22 feet. It includes 300 square feet or 28 meters square of glass and is equipped with 8 flat screen television. At night, the wheel is illuminated by a 2,000 LED system which 
can display a single solid color, different color section, multiple colors moving around the rim, and custom design. Or display for a special holiday and occasion. It is located across from Caesar Palace and the construction was originally scheduled to begin in September 20, 20, 2011 with a late 2013 completion, subsequently revised for early 2014. The outer rim of the wheel was completed on September 9, 2013 and the first cabin was delivered and installed in November 2013 and the final cabin was installed the following month. After preliminary testing, high roller lighting system was eliminated at sunset on February 24, 2014 successor of high roller the a in dubai in the united arab emirates will be taller than a high roller if completed as proposed the 210 meters or 689 feet a in dubai was announced in february 2013 with construction to begin on june 2013. construction eventually began almost two years behind schedule in 2015. erection of the main support structure was completed in 2016. Further delays have pushed the target opening to 2021. In the day, you can see out to the desert from the highest point, and at night, you can get the iconic picture of the Las Vegas lights. After you ride, you can stroll the Link Promenade located right downstairs. This is a lively part of the strip with light music, street performers, and many bars and restaurants. That's where the self-parking at the link is located down there. Top, you can also see the different hotels we have here in Las Vegas. This shows the Flamingo Hotel and at the back of it is the Bellagio uh, Fountain. It shows the Flamingo Pool. The high rollers cave in don't have a restroom or running water, so break out your towelette. The high rollers cave in don't have a restroom or running water, so break out your towelette. The Link Hotel and the Mirage Hotel. Right, you're gonna see the Venetian and the Palazzo. Above, you can also see the um, the construction of Dome, uh, the new attraction here at Las Vegas. Usually the daytime ticket is $25, the night ride ticket is $37, it starts at 7 p.m. And the kids pricing 7 to 17 years old is $10 daytime ride and $20 nighttime ride. Children 6 and under are free. On this video, me is showing us where the dome or the new attraction can be seen at the high roller. And so, if you want to soar 550 feet above the center of Las Vegas Strip on the world's tallest observation wheel, get ready to be wow when you take a spin of 550 feet above the strip with swapping 360 degree views. The wheel takes 30 minutes to complete one revolution and features 28 spacious cabins to accommodate guests. shows the link pool and the link hotel so well, that's it guys we're going down and it's ended our um, high roller trip and um, I forgot to tell you that before riding the high roller, they're gonna ask you if you wanna take a picture and you can buy it uh, printed or you can 
You can also uh, not pay it if you don't want to. Um, as we go out, um, they're gonna guide you um, how you um, get out of the cabin, and you can also go to the, the sky. Um, souvenir shop and you can also check all the souvenirs for the high roller and also thanks for watching guys and if you have any suggestions comments that you want to share that you want us to um, try next time just leave a comment uh, and don't forget to hit like comments thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you'll always be updated on our videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.